In the spring, when the days are getting warm, the river is a very busy place. These two children, Bella and Mark, are rowing on the river with their uncle to see what they can find. The animals and birds that live along the banks are shy and they hide in the tall reeds and in the grass. So the best way to see them is from a boat. There's something making a noise. It's a bird and it's called a grebe. And that's a baby one. And there's its mother. Although grebes are birds, they don't fly much. They live nearly all day long on the river, bobbing up and down in the water, swimming in and out of the reeds. Where's she going now? Ah, to her nest. The grebe has built her nest low down by the water so that she and her chick can get in and out easily. The grebe is a very beautiful bird, a long neck and an orange, white and black face. Her beak is very long and thin and there are tufty feathers on the top of her head. She's looking around for something. Ah, Father Grebe, searching for his favorite food. Fish. Right under the water to catch one. He's got it. Quite a long way back to his family. Mother Grebe looks hungry. I wonder who's going to get that fish to eat. Perhaps Baby Grebe. Can you see him? He's sitting on his mother's back. Must be very comfortable up there, all those feathers. Well, no, Mother's got it. They don't seem quite sure who's going to eat it, do they? Perhaps the fish is too big for the baby grebe. Try again. No? Father Grebe is trying to give it to him now. Oh, Mother Grebe is eating it after all. One gulp, all gone. And off she goes, find something else to eat. Baby goes as well, but he doesn't swim. He sits on his mother's back. Mark and Bella go on down the river. Although there are hundreds of creatures living on the riverbanks, it isn't always very easy to see them. That long grass by the side of the river is good for hiding in. I wonder if there's anything there. An 
animal that looks like a spiky ball, moving up and down as it breathes. There's its face. It's a hedgehog. A hedgehog is just a bit smaller than a rabbit, with round ears, a thick coat of short but very sharp prickles and a very good nose for sniffing out his food. He's off hunting for some right now. Hedgehogs don't mind the water at all. They often search along the riverbank for insects and snails and small animals and even snakes. But most of all, they like to eat eggs. Maybe there's an egg in here. Nope. In the spring and summer, the hedgehog lives in the tall grass or under a hedge. But in the winter, he builds a cozy nest of moss and leaves, curls himself up into a little tight ball, and sleeps most of the time. Till spring. But this hedgehog still hasn't had much luck in finding any food. Over there, on the bank, there's something that the hedgehog wouldn't mind eating. It's a snail. You have to look quite closely along the banks to see a snail, because they're not very big, not much bigger than a button on a coat. Can you see those two stalks waving about on the top of its head? They're the snail's eyes. They can go backwards and forwards and round and round. That large bump on the back of the snail is its house. So wherever the snail goes, it takes its home along. A snail's house is a shell, and when it wants to go to sleep, all it has to do, tuck in its tail and pull in its head. But this one is wide awake, as it very carefully feels its way along with its home swaying from side to side. What's this? It's called a ladybird. A ladybird isn't really a bird at all. It's a tiny flying insect, about the size of a pea, and it likes to nibble away at the leaf. Hmm, there's someone else. 
It's another insect. Come to join the ladybird for dinner. Hmm, that was quick. I wonder who he was. Perhaps it wasn't hungry after all. The ladybird has a shiny red coat with black spots. And underneath its coat, it tucks its wings. And it can fly very well if it wants to. All along the river, you can hear the song and the chatter of the birds and the rustle of the leaves in the trees. Plop, go the oars into the water. The water makes noises too. It gurgles and plops. It splashes. But underneath the water, there are the silent, shiny, silvery fish. These fish are called roach, wiggling in and out of the water plants. Sometimes, Roach can grow very big, almost as big as a cat. These are all sizes. It opens its mouth like that to breathe. A fish has a shiny silver skin made of scales and large, round eyes, which never shut, even when it goes to sleep. Like the birds and the animals along the river, the fish are very shy, especially if someone's around. Hmm, I don't think Bella will catch one somehow. Bella and Mark are going home now. They'll go for a row another day, along the river. 